and we are recording. Hope everyone's keeping well in these tough times. This is HM Boxing, your host Harley, and I'm just doing a short video, a little preview video on the big fight happening in America um, this evening at Super Flyweight, where we're seeing two of the best Super Flyweights in Juan Estrada versus Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, and I'm just going to give you my breakdown on the fight and what and my thoughts on the fight, which I believe it's a cracking fight, first and foremost, between two of the best fighters in their division in the world. This is what we want to see in boxing. We want to see the best fight in the best. And this is a cracking fight. And it definitely is a case where two of the best fighters in their division are fighting each other. I think first and foremost, I think Roman Gonzalez has come back very strongly. Obviously a great name in boxing, a Hall of Fame fighter. He will be a Hall of Fame fighter, even if he wins or loses this fight in terms of what he's achieved in boxing at super flyweight, winning all those fights, going 44, 45 and 0, which is incredible for any fighter in professional boxing to have that sort of record where you've had 40, 40 plus fights and you're unbeaten. It's incredible. It doesn't happen very often. Everyone takes defeats. And of course, Roman Gonzalez um, took a defeat against um, Rungbasai, two defeats. Uh, the first fight I actually fought Roman Gonzalez won, but he didn't get a nod on the scorecards. Um, they gave it to Rungbasai. And the second fight, obviously, we all know he got or I know clearly got iced in that fight and got knocked out quite badly. So he's done very well in terms of how he's recovered from the first, from the wrong Versailles rematch to become a world champion again, beating Britain's own Cal Fire, destroyed Cal Fire in a very um, destructive way, a very clinical knockout and brutal victory. He battered um, Cal Fire for honest. So that was a good win to show he's still a world class fighter. And he's come back with another win against Israel Gonzalez recently. Another good name, a very top, a top uh, super flyweight um, who actually fought Cal Yafai and I thought beat Cal Yafai. So that's another top win at super flyweight. So he's coming back with good form. And he's, his name will always hold value at super flyweight Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Uh, five or six years ago, he was a top, top pound for pound fight. I think everyone, um, including myself, had him at least top three. A lot of people had him pound for pound number one for what he was doing, you know. So he's a cracking fighter and it's, Good to see he's back, uh, rejuvenated his career and he's coming back strongly. And if he wins um, tonight, he's really enhances his legacy even further, which is a very brilliant legacy. It probably makes him the greatest um, flyweight of all time, little man of all time, which I think there's debate he already is, but he's definitely enhances that if, or with a win against Estrada. And actually in, in current form, it puts him in pound for pound ratings. For me, it puts him in top 10 easy. I think... Um, He's borderline top 10. I think maybe name value could argue he's a top 10 pound for pound fighter, but I think there's 10 better fighters than him at the moment, currently with better form, better wins. But if he beats one Estrada, who, in my opinion, is a pound for pound top 10, I have him around eighth or ninth um, in, off, on the top of my head in terms of my pound for pound ratings. So, um, yeah, if he wins, he probably gets himself maybe top five. I think the win, I think in terms of pound for pound for me, if you win, um, if you win against another elite fighter, you are a pound for pound fighter. You look at Tiafimo Lopez, um, just recently beating um, Lomachenko. He's now in pa everyone's pound for pound list. You can't not have him in your pound for pound list. I have him top five easily. Maybe some people may have him top three, but I have him at least top five, uh, Tiafimo Lopez, after beating Lomachenko. And I still have Lomachenko in my pound for pound list. Don't get me wrong, but I think you leapfrog the guy who is in the pound for pound list if you beat them. So for me, if um, Gonzalez was to beat Estrada again, obviously they've had the fight, the first fight as well, which was a cracking fight, which um, which Gonzalez did beat um, Estrada. He beat him quite cleanly as well. That was quite a while ago, back, um, that's, um, about eight or nine years ago. It was 2012, that fight, uh, from memory. I watched it back a couple of weeks ago. And listen, if uh, uh, Gonzalez turns up on Saturday, it's going to be a cracking fight because that was peak Roman Gonzalez. And he absolutely, he done a number, I thought, on Estrada. I think he won the early rounds, really got the got the scores up because he took the first four or five rounds easy. And when you've when you've done that, there's a lot of catching up. I think Estrada came back and won a couple of rounds. But for me, I, I had it 116-112-84 um, uh, Gonzalez. And it was a cracking performance because that's probably the pinnacle Roman Gonzalez I've seen in the first Estrada fight. I think that's the best version I've seen. I think that's his best win on paper, you would say, as well. Uh, with other good names like Quadras and obviously Cali Fies and names like that. So, you know, listen, it's a great fight. Um, I think Roman Gonzalez, like I say, if he wins, he gets himself back in pound for pound recognitioning and enhances that legacy, which is already brilliant. But let's let's have it right. I think um, Estrada, who I'm talking about now, um, is a cracking fighter in his own right. And listen, I think he's he's in the better form, to be honest. And I think he's coming to the peak. I think 2012, we didn't see the best version, but I think we're seeing the best version of him. 2020, 2021, yeah, uh, obviously the version that beat Rung Versailles in the rematch was incredible. 
boxed uh, rings around Rung Vasai. I thought he beat him near enough every round. I think it was very difficult to score Rung Vasai a lot of rounds in that fight. I think you could maybe give him two or three rounds at max. But that was that was credit to um, Juan Estrada's performance. I think he boxed very well. He's got brilliant footwork, moves in and out of range superbly, um, Estrada. And I think he's a he's a cracking fighter, Juan Estrada. So he's really he's really put himself in a pound for pound position at the moment. For me, he's, I have him in my top ten. Like I said, I think I have him eighth or ninth. And if he wins against Roman Gonzalez, that just enhances that. And you probably put him in your top five for me because that's a legendary win against a Hall of Fame fighter in Roman Gonzalez, and it probably puts him, obviously, the best super flyweight in the world, but pound for pound, top five, top six, and, yes, yeah, cracking. So my thoughts on the fight and what I think will happen in the fight, I, I'm picking Juan Hestrada to, to make it 1-1 in, in, in terms of the two fights they've had with each other. I think he'll equal the score, make it 1-1, and I think he wins on points in a, in a good, good fashion. I think he wins, like, a 116-112 an 8-4 type fight. I think he wins the majority of the rounds, but obviously may lose a couple of rounds because of the quality of Roman Gonzalez. But I think Juan Estrada will really announce himself as the top, top, top of the uh, super flyweight division and um, a pound for pound fighter and really make his own legacy in, in that division and, and put himself up there with a Roman Gonzalez, you know? And I think if, it, if it's a good competitive fight, either winner, I think they should have another fight because these are the fights we want to see in boxing. We want to see the best be the best. So, if one Hestrada wins, it makes it 1-1. Why not have a rubber match uh, trilogy, which would be a cracking fight? Um, and, yeah, get, get big crowds there. I think there's about five or 6,000 there tonight. Um, I think it's in Vegas. I think it's in um, Texas. Don't quote me on that. So, yeah, it's a cracking fight. Can't wait for it. And I'll probably be staying up for it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. One Hestrada is my pick. 116, 112. Thank you very much for listening, people. Stay tuned. Got more content coming. Been a bit quiet over the last couple of weeks. A couple of days, sorry, um, because I've got a lot on. I'm working. This is a part time thing, but I'm trying to keep on top of it. I really want to deliver good quality content for you all. So stay tuned. And yeah, I'm coming. I'm bringing more content. God bless everyone. See you soon. Cheers. All the best.